Hello, I'm Johnny Wright. I'd like to speak to you this afternoon on the subject of faithful to the end. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, Paul writing to young Timothy says this, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. This verse speaks of his present condition, how that Paul within his heart and mind had resolved that his fate was from the hand of the Lord and that he had accepted this. What a statement of encouragement to give to a young preacher. Then he moves to the next verse and says, I have fought a good fight. This reminds me of the story of an old preacher from South Georgia years ago who had preached all of his life, had grown old, and some young preachers speaking with him on that occasion said to them, Preacher, can you say as the Apostle Paul did that you fought a good fight? The old wise man scratching his head looked at him and said, Boys, I'm not sure that I can say that I have fought a good fight, but I do believe I can say that I have been in some good fights. Well, be that as it may, Paul said to Timothy, I have fought a good fight. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that that's what you and I should be able to say and need to be able to say at the end of our lives, that we have fought a good fight. He then said to Timothy that he had finished his course or the race that the Lord had set out for him back in the book of Acts, where he says to him that he would show him the things that he must suffer for the sake of Christ and the gospel. And then Paul ends it by saying, I've kept the faith. The very message of Christ itself so penetrated the heart of the Apostle Paul that leaving that message was out of the question for this great man of God. At the end of his life, he said to Timothy, I have kept the faith. Ladies and gentlemen, can you and I say that? Can we truly say at this point of our lives, we have been faithful all the way to the end. Thank you for listening. May God bless you.